Hi, I'm Allison Lehman with the La Plata County Office of Emergency Management. And today I'm gonna to show you the Wildfire Resource Center, a website launched by La Plata County to help La Plata County residents and visitors to La Plata County learn how to be wildfire prepared. In this video, we will show you how to use the wildfire risk map and learn what the risk is to a particular parcel as well as uh, whether or not grant funding is available. Learn how to find local events going on for preparedness or something that's uh, environmental resilience related. Who to reach for a wildfire risk assessment and um, for community assessments. What to do to be wildfire and incident prepared. And finally, in this video, we will teach you where to find resources so that you can learn about everything wildfire related. So thanks for joining us today. The website that you want to visit is LPC, like La Plata County, fireprepared.org. So one more time, LPC, fire prepared. Here's our great website for you. I'm gonna go through a lot of this information on this video, but I would just like to um, direct you to this very useful map that we have here. Now this map is from data provided by the state of Colorado. It doesn't include if you completed wildfire mitigation on your parcel. If you have, awesome job, we're so proud of you. Um, what we're gonna look at today is the risk. I'm gonna show you an example here. So let's pull up an address and you can do this yourself at home. What you wanna do is start typing in the address and don't do the drive or street because it's not gonna be able to uh, find the address without that information. So we're gonna select an address. Great, so we pulled up your parcel on the wildfire risk map. Let's see what we can learn here. What you'll first see is home ignition zones are shown around the structures on the parcel. Um, I do apologize, in not all cases on our map do we have all structures. Um, that data is something provided um, through county GIS. However, when we do, we're showing, um, based on Colorado Forest Service guidelines, the uh, home ignition zones. This zone here is zone three. Your zone three goes from 30 feet to 100 feet. And so you can see uh, the underlay of the vegetation under that and kind of get a sense of what mitigation you might want to start with as far as your home ignition zones. And then the red circle is your home, home ignition zone two. So to learn more, we're gonna cover home ignition zones in a, a next segment of this video. Uh, you can find a lot of information within each parcel to learn um, what the wildfire risk is, based again, based on state standards and uh, wildfire behavior, what grant funding is available, and these links will take you to uh, information about that grant and how to get involved. And then uh, the Wildfire Desert Partnership Ambassador Program, when that is something that's available to those homes. Next up, we want you to use this site for your calendar on where to go to find out about events related to environmental resiliency. Because the great thing about having a healthy forest and a healthy watershed is that also means you're reducing your risk to wildfire and the intensity of a wildfire. A bump over to April and just give you a sense of the things going on in our community that uh, you could have the opportunity to participate in. So please join us. Now we're gonna start talking about what I mentioned a little earlier with the map, home ignition zones and finding methods so that you can reduce the risk of uh, the impact of wildfire to your property. So I understand seeing it through this video, it might be a little difficult to see. What I wanna do today is teach you how you can use this site so that you can get the information. So follow these arrows and you're gonna to get to find out uh, some of the, the best practices uh, that science have pr has proven will help to reduce the risk to your home when there is a wildfire in the area. One of the things that you'll find out by following the steps in the website is that the biggest risk to your residents is embers from the wildfire. And so everything that we're talking about in here on your home hardening is being ember prepared. We also have information on the home ignition zone. Those were those concentric circles that I showed you on the map previously. And our very first zone, we didn't get to show you because it's so close to the house. 
showing it on that map would be a little bit difficult. So five feet, one to five feet is the most critical area where you can re reduce risk of a wildfire impacting your home. Visit this site, follow this information and see what you can do to reduce your risk. You can also download some really helpful checklists. You can find videos on how to do these things all here on this website. Great information for you for preparing your community and then learning about wildfire risk. Another thing that we wanted to cover for you today is learning how to sign up for a wildfire risk assessment. Assessments are offered for free in our county as a service of Wildfire Adaptive Partnership, or local nonprofit, as well as through participation in a number of our grants. When you are on the website, on this Make My Home Fire Safe page, just go to the sign up link and you'll get to the page for Wildfire Adaptive Partnership. You can also follow the link on our grant pages. So if you see on the map that you're eligible for grant funding, then what you're gonna wanna do is go to Get Involved. And we have grant funding and incentive information. And like magic, you just get there, and then on this page you can sign up for a wildfire risk assessment. Okay, we talked about what to do to prepare. There's tons of information on this website. What is gonna be your kind of second step after you've gone to the Get Prepared page? Get informed to learn about wildfire behavior. Get involved to learn about things in your community or in your HOA. On our resources page is endless amounts of information from home hardening to vegetation to evacuation preparation. And there are customized evacuation preparedness sheets on here that you can download for your family. When I say customized, they were created for you by La Plata County. So it gives you information specific to what our concerns are and our needs here in La Plata County. So we really appreciate your supporting the work that we've done to create this site and doing what you can as a household and a community to be wildfire prepared. Thank you for watching this video today. We really appreciate your role in being wildfire prepared. To that end, just a few things I wanna add. Uh, first of all, you can use our website to sign up for Code Red. It is uh, really important that you put your emails and phone numbers and information in the La Plata County system because we have a lot of La Plata County specific notification system. The other thing is you can use this website when there are incidents going on to stay updated on what's going on, where evacuation zones are, and information that'll be valuable like that. So we appreciate you coming to LPC Fire Prepared and doing your part.